I think the key is for me has always been you know to find value. I mean, you want to it's like your mother taught you shop ki rupee ki cheez athani mein khareedni chahiye, and that's the same truths in the stock market. You want to buy cheap. Now fashions come and go. Sometimes it's eyeballs. Sometimes it's replacement cost, whatever. But you buy good businesses, and you're willing to hold them for the long time. I think you'll do extraordinarily well. And what these gentlemen taught me is that unless you risk running very far, you don't know how far you can run. And the trick for me has always been to push myself to buy bigger positions. To uh, you know, you know, there's a saying on Wall Street that bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. But that's not quite true. Because sometimes you need to be a pig in the market. When the when, when the conviction is the highest, when the trade is at the best point, you need to bet big, and then you need to know how much you make. You cannot really get really rich on Wall Street or the Last Street by buying ten thousand shares or twenty-five thousand shares. Occasionally, the market flashes a neon red light to you, and with your experience, you should be able to pick it out. And I think that's been the biggest learning: that you learn how to compound your money, and you learn that when the iron is hot, you have to strike it, and then go in for the kill and back up the truck, as I say, to buy. I used to buy Bharat Electronics. Mm. It was a 20 rupee stock with a 2 rupee dividend built in, 160 crore market cap. It's 60 thousand crores today, yeah. and I think it can go perhaps double from these prices too. Mm. So I mean, it's created long term wealth. The mistake mm. people make often is to bunch FMCG stocks versus all PSU stocks. Mm. These all are disparate companies. There are some commodity stocks, there are some power stocks, and some defence stocks. So you know, need to learn how to pick the sector in the PSU that you're bullish on. Mm. I think the mistake a lot of analysts make is lumping them all together. So obviously, you're going to come out with disappointing results. What if I bunched Himachal and Global and all those bad uh, consumer stocks along with the levers and the dowers of the world? Mm. Your returns wouldn't be that great. So I think that's a trap that uh, a lot of people fall into. And these are good stocks. These are great businesses. Uh, the government, if you hear the prime minister speak or the railway minister speak, they're going to use. The railway and the railway budget as a blunt axe for capital expansion. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're just going whole hog on these places. They're going whole hog on defence. I mean, for example, let me give you an example on defence and why it matters to India. The US produces 150 million artillery shells in a year. Mm -hmm. That's what Ukraine uses in a couple of weeks. So there's a huge shortage of defence equipment, and here these companies are already producing equipment. And threatening to do more so by Atman Dhanva Bharat going uh, more uh, domestic source. Mm -hmm. So there's a great opportunity. They have good uh, order books. They have excellent technological skills, and we are buying them literally, as I said, rupee ke chhiche chawani mein, not even athani mein. Mm -hmm. So you know we are very confident about uh, the play out in these sectors. So I mean, there is a time to sell, I'm sure, but I don't see that yet. Actually, like both the groups, but right now I'm more invested in PSU stocks. Uh, probably real estate. Uh, you know, gold is. Uh, I mean, inflation last year was at 40 years high, 8 percent. Gold was down 10 percent. Yeah. I mean, that tells you something that people have moved on from gold. My big investment call or bet is that if you remain invested. You will compound money, and I think that's what I always try to do. I mean, I always tell the young people who come to me is that you want to try and double your money every three years, mm -hmm. and if you do that, you're going to be rich at the end of the 30-year period that we're talking about. So, the investment call is the same: remain the same, buy great businesses, and you're playing a long ball. You know, you might have more fun trying to hit it out for a six, but the people who really make wealth compound it over long periods of time.